men rob to make it rain at New York City strip club. Suspect tells cops. Oh, New York City. So what were you going to do with the money? Were you going to use it to start a business? Maybe? No. Were you going to invest in stocks? Maybe do some Bitcoin? No. Were you going to use the money to buy Christmas gifts for your kids and family members? Hell no. So what were you going to do with the money? We we're going to throw it at strippers. <laughs> the robbers who targeted over a dozen delis and gas stations in an outer boroughs crime spree told arresting officers they had plans to blow some of the stolen cash at a strip club. Calvin Scantleberry, 39, Reginald Williams, 23, and Duquan Cooper, 22, <laughs> were held on bail of up to $150,000 after they were busted for the string of robberies, the Queens District Attorney's Office said Wednesday. If you remember, it wasn't that long ago that a woman's estranged husband beat her and threatened to kill her on a video uploaded to Facebook and they released him with no bail where he immediately went back for that woman and killed her in cold blood. So how are they picking and choosing who gets bail and who doesn't? And I don't want to hear that section article bullshit. During their alleged crime spree, the ski mask wearing crew ran into delis and gas stations, flash guns and demanded cash, lottery tickets, and packs of Newport cigarettes. <laughs> According to police, Newport cigarettes is like saying you don't even need to see the photo. <laughs> they were nabbed in the early hours of Sunday after back-to-back -back robberies in Queens pulled a double. Cooper told arresting police officers that the robberies that night hadn't been absolutely premeditated and that the crew was planning on scouting out some strip clubs. They hit up a deli on Astoria Boulevard near 92nd Street in Jackson Heights around 12.20 a.m., prosecutors allege. We didn't really say anything. We had no intention of hurting anybody. We didn't. That's what everybody says until the gun goes off accidentally or whatever. Now a simple robbery turns into a murder. It was just going to be cash, Cooper said. The men allegedly walked into the store where Williams pointed a gun at an employee and barked, give me the money, I'll kill you. The clerk complied and one of the men removed about $4,000 in cash and rolling papers, prosecutor said. You would think that would have been the perfect time to quit while they were ahead. No, you get greedy, you get sloppy, you get caught. With Williams behind the wheel, the crew took off in a blue Nissan Maxima and drove a little over three miles to a Gulf gas station on Skillman Ave near 39th Street in Sunnyside. I do dumb shit, Williams told arresting officers. At least he knows himself. All three of us walked into the gas station. They were trying to control it, so I robbed the shit. The men robbed the store at gunpoint and made off with $1,700 in cash and nearly $600 worth of Newport cigarettes. And all joking aside, this could have easily went from a robbery to a robbery gone wrong to a murder. I was going to use it at the strip club, Williams said of the cash. Our intentions were just to take the money and go. About an hour and a half later, a patrolling officer spotted the car that was connected to the robbery pattern and pulled it over. After he searched the vehicle and men, the officers found the cash, cigarettes, rolling papers, and a loaded gun. Williams said that the stick-up scheme had started when he happened to stumble upon the gun. <laughs> right. I came up with the idea that I have to get this money one way or another, he said, because the job is absolutely out of the question. <laughs> no. Starting October 31st, the men targeted 15 total spots, 11 in Queens and the rest in Brooklyn, cops said. Purely for entertainment purposes only, if someone is willing to rob 15 gas stations and convenience stores, Four houses get you a hotel. Why not just hit three banks? <laughs> Weigh the risk and reward. 